My God, this hair is disgusting. Ugh. God, I need to wash it so fucking bad. Oh well, is it reading disgusting on camera? Huh? Oh, not too bad. Hi, bitches. So I know it's been a little while since I made a video. I know, I know, I know. I'm like the worst person at making these videos. I'm gonna start making more videos. Okay, so I wanted this video to be about the L'Oreal Paris Available Pro Map Foundation. So it's 24 hour foundation. It's matte. It's pro matte. This is just. I'm sure you've seen it wherever you buy stuff at. I wanted to review it. It's honestly one of the best foundations I've ever used, let alone it's a drugstore foundation. Based on my last video, I can't remember which foundation I used, but it's either one of these. It's it's MAC. I just know that because it was the only two foundations that I used. First video was the Match Master. I'm pretty sure of that. And then after that, I started using the MAC Mineralized Moisture, like Moisture Foundation, just because it was winter and I needed something just a little bit, not as matte per se, something just a little bit more dewy with more moisture, but fuck all, fuck those two foundations. Like no lie, like this is honestly to me the best foundation that I've ever used in my entire life. And I've used like, some here and there, especially at a drugstore, and then I went to MAC, and then I like fell in love with those two foundations, don't get me wrong. But it's not that yellow hue that I like. And this one color that I got is more on that yellow hue. I'm obsessed with it, obsessed with it. If you want a foundation that's more on the yellow olive -y tone side, this is the perfect foundation for them. And it's the Demi Matte Finish. It's air light and it's supposed to be oil free. And then this is the back. It gives you like, I guess, little instructions and stuff. I got the Demi Matte one, the one that lasts 24 hours. I think they're all, yeah. And then it's medium coverage. It's supposed to be, full. I don't know if you can like change the coverage if you could get one that's like low or high. It has like the little options, I guess, right there. I per se wouldn't go with the light one. I know I wouldn't go with the heavier one just because I'm not a super heavy coverage person. What I like about this is that it's very buildable. If you're very sparing with the product, it covers, which is great, and it'll still look natural. But if you are more heavier with the product, it will be full coverage, which I love. I'm not per se gonna always be doing full coverage. I'll maybe try it like once or twice, but I'm not gonna always do it. The color that I got is the 108, the caramel beige, and it gives you like little instructions. Like I love that. It gives you like a little face, kind of like those little Mac face charts. The reason that I got this color, because you know you can't swatch like drugstore products, Lustralux, Lustralux? I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but she's on YouTube. She got the 106. And I was like, okay, she's a lot lighter than me, so I'm not gonna get that one. So I need to go darker. So I honestly just like did this when I was like at the store and on camera, it reads like it's a lot lighter. I love it. It's honestly, I think my perfect color. And it's supposed to be oil control. I've worn it for about two weeks now and I wanna say it's like here. I mean, it's not like if I can tell how much is left in there but it's lasted me, it still feels really heavy. So I'll wear it in the morning when I get ready and then I'll wear it throughout the whole day. I wanna say I've gone out a couple times after and I like the coverage, like it's still great coverage. I don't retouch it throughout the day, which is great. I don't feel like I have to just because if I have to retouch anything, it's just the oiliness. And even then I'll just use like use oil absorbing sheets. I won't like, per se use powder. I'm very oily and it's supposed to be like pro matte and it's supposed to be oil control. I don't see that without my primer and setting it. Just because I've done it without the primer and I've done it with a different primer and I didn't like it. It, it made me very oily and it was kind of cakey. It's not like super expensive. Um, I bought it at Ulta just because I'm dumb. But I went to Ulta because I knew they would have a wider selection in colors as opposed to me going to somewhere like Walmart or Target or like CVS, which they did. I think they were honestly missing one color, but it was on the very, very light side. So I personally didn't care. So if you're light, sorry about it. At Ulta, it was $13 or a little bit over $13. I know it probably would have been like maybe 30 cents cheaper at fucking Walmart or something. So if I ever see it at Walmart, I'll probably buy it. Just get it, just buy it. You'll love it. I love it. It's honestly, to me, the best foundation I've used to date. Yeah. Okay, so that's my review on the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Semi Mina Demi Matter Life Oil Free Foundation. And I promise to make a video very, very, very soon, very, very soon. I don't know what it'll be next. Maybe I'll do more reviews of this stuff. I don't know. But I really wanted to review it just because it's such a good product. Like, I definitely recommend everyone to go get it. So, 
I want to say I covered everything on it. If you have any more questions, um, if you want to know more about it before buying it, definitely comment below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And until next time, bye bitches. I wonder if that's that. Today's. You know how sometimes you're like, is that everything? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I don't know. The game from Far Away, the foundation looks so good. Just so good. <laughs> so fucking stupid. Okay, bye.